Hello and welcome fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome to your week ahead terrascopes with me intuitive Renee. We are looking at the week of the 6th to the 12th of February 2023 and I am going to work with these two fabulous decks this week. I have got the Meraki Tarot and I have got the um, Enchanted Map Oracle. So I, I do think they, they work quite well together. The artwork is so different but the messages are going to come through quite well. I'm going to put the Oracle aside. We will use that towards the end and let's get shuffling with our beautiful Meraki Tarot. Looking at the week of the 6th to the 12th of February 2023, for all our fire signs we're looking at Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. What I'm looking for as I shuffle the cards just to set the intention is I'm looking for guidance for the week ahead. What is it that you need to be aware of? What do you need to be mindful of? What is in store for you for the week ahead? Where does your energy need to be? What is important and significant for every single one of you for the week ahead? All right, giving the cards a shuffle. These cards shuffle so beautifully. Love my Meraki Tarot. Okay, happy with that. All right, let's cut the deck over there. And we're going to draw straight the top. All right, so the first card we have is one of the extra cards that are added in this particular deck and its key phrase is expansive. I will explain it in a second. We have page of wands as well. Gosh, I'm going so skew. Let me look on camera. <laughs> I also have the knight of swords. So page of wands, knight of swords, very interesting energy coming through and our last one is the seven of swords. I'm leaving some space there for the oracle so moving the tarot out of the way and let's have a look and see what is the message that's coming through. If we look at expansive, all right so fire signs let's just look at the artwork you can see it's got just the single key phrase over there. If we look at the artwork we can see there's night sky, we can see that there's clouds, we can see that there's sunset, we've got some trees over here, we've got some birds flying around and then we have this gust of wind and this gust of wind seems to be carrying some crystals let's just bring it closer so that you can see so the gust of wind seems to be bringing through some crystals but it's almost like this evolution this change this transition from one state or form to another and isn't that what crystal is as well i mean it is just rock that is under so much pressure that it eventually crystallizes and forms um so immediately what i get with expansive is understanding that we mustn't focus on just one layer i see the sky as different layers okay so for the week ahead our focus must not be on a single layer our focus needs to be on the big picture and understanding that we cannot have that if we're missing something further down because everything builds everything adds on to until it becomes the expansive thing that it, it it can be so for your week ahead it is about making your vision making your sight your world bigger than what it is in order to fully encompass everything that we have okay so this particular tarot deck it doesn't have any humans in it, doesn't have any people in it, it is generally an animal deck. So here we've got the Page of Wands, and here we've got the Knight of Swords, and we've got the Seven of Swords, and it's all birds that are flying. The deck does have other animals in it, <laughs> not only flying, but in this particular case, and fire signs, we know that you guys are all about the fire, all about the passion and the enthusiasm, about the groundedness. But the fact that everything's up in the air, the fact that everything's up in the air, seems to be the theme that's coming through for you for the week ahead. Page of Wands is telling you, and again, if we just bring the artwork a bit closer to show you the pretty, we've got these two birds, okay? There's a whole lot of others as well, but the focus is on these two birds. And here we have this one that is carrying a twig, and the twig has a, a, a bow on it, all right? And then we've got the other one that seems to be flying away. But the message that comes through from this Page of Wands is telling you take that chance, all right? Be expressive, be bold in your actions, be bold in what you're doing in order to attract that which you truly desire. But it is about being... Uh, um, physical, about being practical, and it is about taking the chances, okay? Don't get too caught up in your head around, oh, but maybe I shouldn't, or maybe I should, or what does it look like? It's about just get on and do it. Make the circle bigger. Be more expansive in your approach, in your understanding, in your vision, but also just get on with it, okay? Do not delay, because whatever your plans are, whatever the things are that you're working with this week, if you 
overthink it too much, you're going to miss the opportunity. Grab the opportunity, put a bow on it, and go with it. Start building the home, the house, the opportunity that you want for yourself. And here we have the Knight of Swords. Now, let's just look at this bird. He means business, okay? I'm calling him a he, but uh, I hope I'm not wrong. The bird means business. You can see by the, the feathers and the flight, you can see that there is momentum. He's even got his, his mouth open and he's squawking, okay? He's letting everybody know there is this energy that's coming off him. And he is holding this sword very tightly in his little feet. Um, flying very high over the ground, but he is moving. There is action. There is momentum. There is progress. And he is speaking out. So he he is so focused, eagle eye focused, okay? And nothing and nobody is going to deviate him from that or going to pull him away from that. And this is what you need, fire signs. So for this week ahead, there's a lot going on. You've got to understand all the layers. You've got to get on with it and you've got to stay laser focused on what you're doing, how you're doing it, who you're doing it with, etc. Do not allow yourself to get, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, sidetracked. Um, by anything distracted by anything okay and then we look at the seven of swords now this seven of swords is one of my favorite seven of swords cards so we have the bird flying it's flying in that direction okay and it's got its wings down and then its wings come up and then the wings go down so that's why it just just in case you you're battling to understand the graphic and it's carrying this basket full of swords but if you have a look there is rain only on this half of the card. There is nothing on that half of the card. And the bird is flying in that direction, which means he's coming out of the rain, flying out of the rain, moving into the clear, the clear sky. You can even see at the top, the sky definitely seems to clear up a little bit, okay? So the Seven of Swords is basically saying to you that you have to do what you have to do to get yourself out of the rain. And that's what we've got going here, okay? Before I say anything more, I do want to shuffle our um, Enchanted Map Oracle. It is an incredibly glossy deck, so I hope I don't end up glaring you terribly with the shuffle. I'm trying to avoid all the lights that I have got on here at the moment. So Enchanted Map, give us some guidance, give us some clarity, give us some understanding on what it is that we're working with this week. All fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. And it's this thing that we have to get moving on, this thing that we have to do a lot of work on. What is it and how can you assist us in gaining understanding and clarity? Okay, and I am going to cut the deck there and take that card. Right, putting the rest away, let's have a look and see what card we have. Details, details, you see that? details details the magnifying glass is even highlighting the word clarity we have the the uh, um the compass um and the compass is showing us all the information there is a lot of going on look at all the books the books are open it's learning it's understanding it's growing so fire signs the message that i get from details 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 card number 43 and the tarot is that this is a busy busy week for all of us okay there is a lot happening. There is a lot going on and we have to stay on top of it all. Don't miss anything. Whatever it is that you need to do, whatever these different layers are, and understanding that you cannot have that layer without this one. You cannot have that without that. All of these layers building. Knowledge builds up on layers. When you go through school, you start at grade one, you go all the way to grade 12, you're building on your knowledge. All the detail helps. But there is a lot that's going on right now that you have to get on with, but you have to stay focused. So, fire signs, whatever you're working with this week, it may seem difficult. It may seem almost impossible to get out of the rain, to get away from the, the, the situation or the circumstance. But if you stay focused, if you stay steadfast, steadfast in what you're doing and how you're doing it, if you understand the details and the layers of all the information, you're going to find it actually quite easy to fly out of the rain, to get yourself into that clear space. But the only way that you're going to succeed is by being aware of the layers, being aware of the details, and getting on with whatever you're doing and staying focused. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Short, sweet, and to the point, because I don't want to drag on the message any longer than I need to. Even though it's difficult, it's going to be okay, as long as you stay focused, focus on the details, and understand the layers, and you're going to be absolutely fine. So fire signs, as always, much love and many blessings. I hope you have an amazing week ahead, and until we connect again, take care, my fire signs.